good morning students uh, today uh, we will continue with our uh, insurance claim of loss of stock as you have seen i have solved some of the previous year sums in my previous classes so i will continue with that procedure today also today i will be solving 2015 bcom honors paper the sum has already been provided to you in the pdf so uh, i will discuss the sum first and then i will try to solve one sum and definitely i will provide another one of loss of stock insurance claim sum for your homework so uh, we shall start our class so uh, the sum says that a fire occurred in the godown of p limited on 20th march 2015 the fire took place on 20th march 2015 destroying the entire stock the books and records were salvaged from which the following particulars were ascertained salvage means some part has been uh, kept from destroying it so it has been saved and rest information has been provided below sales for the year has been mentioned 620000 sales for the period from 115 to 2315 means that will be the memorandum trading account sales purchase for the year 2014 has also been provided and purchase for the period from 1st of january 2015 to 20th of march 2015 has also been provided means that's the purchase of memorandum trading account which we need to calculate after calculating the normal trading account for the year 2014 stock opening stock for the year 2014 has been given and closing stock for the year 2014 has also been provided the interesting part is the other information means the continuation of the sum which says that the company has the following practice of valuing the stock of goods at actual cost plus 10 percent means company is following in the valuation of goods cost plus 10 percent means overvaluation which has been cost plus 10 percent means suppose the cost is 100 uh, it has been valued at 110 so there has been an overvaluation in the part of uh, stock uh, valuation of stock so in that case also Uh, that overvaluation should be deducted from the opening stock while computing trading account uh, included in included in the stock on 141114 were some damaged goods which original cost of 1250 but were valued at 640 means when the cost has been valued at cost plus 10% we there also some damaged product which has also been included or which has also been incorporated from the original cost value is 1250 but it has been revalued at 640 means the damage valued has been 640 which has to be deducted from the opening stock after that whatever the sum came from that the 10% has been overvalued so overvaluation will also be deducted from the opening stock after computing after deducting the damage part of 640 from the opening stock which has been provided 1114 198640 so uh, the total uh, the total goods these goods were sold during the year 2014 were for 500 means the goods for the damage sales has been sold for 500 which has to be deducted from the sales also uh, subject to this the rate of gp has to be ascertained and the valuation of stock were uniform ascertain the value of stock destroyed you have to calculate the value of stock destroyed means you have to only calculate the actual value of stock destroyed which may be the gross profit and that gross profit will be considered as the net profit as there is no insurance claim or net claim we you need to calculate it as there is no uh, average clause given in the sum so when we are doing that first of all we will follow uh, the trading account we have to compute the trading account so this is sum number 28 in my book uh, and also uh, i have provided you the pdf so trading account for the year ended trading 
account for the year ended 31st December 2014 or you can write 31st December 2014 right you can write that okay so there has been debit particulars and particulars amount rupees amount rupees particulars amount rupees and amount rupees okay that is credit so opening stock has been given 1 lakh 98640 to opening stock 1 lakh 98640 the information has given c the below information the company has a following practice of valuing the stock of goods at an actual cost plus 10% included in the stock on 1114 where some damaged goods which originally cost rupees 1250 but were valued at 640 original cost is 1250 but it has been valued at 640 so when it has been valued at 640 which is the value of damaged goods has to be deducted from that value of damaged goods how much damaged goods how much it has to be deducted from the trading 640 so it is coming 1 lakh 98000 and there has been overvaluation how you can see that the value of actual cost plus 10% cost plus 10% means overvaluation overvaluation on which amount this amount so 1 lakh 98000 into 10 by 110 because cost plus 10% cost plus 10% means 10 by 110 it is coming 18000 it is coming 18000 and if you deduct that it is coming 180000 the opening stock purchase has been given two purchases two purchases which has been provided what is the amount 490 6600 which is actually the purchase sales has been provided 620100 uh, by sales 620100 and also these goods were sold during the year for, for for the year 2014 the value has been given 500 less sale of damaged goods sale of damaged goods how much is given 500 right so 6 lakh 19600 right and also when you compute the stock stock has been computed cost plus 10% there has been overvaluation which has to be deducted from the opening stock but what will be in case of closing stock the closing stock has also been uh, affected due to the stock valuation which has been given if you see carefully uh, the company has been following the practice of valuing the stock of goods at actual cost plus 10% means the stock of goods include the opening as well as the closing the closing stock whatever has been given the value has been charged at the original figure 2 lakh 33000 but when there has been an overvaluation we deduct from the opening stock so in case of the closing stock also whatever the amount 2 lakh 33000 has been given it is the value of total figure and there has been again uh, 10% shortage of uh, actual cost plus 10% so when we calculate the closing stock how you can do by closing stock the amount has been given 233090 uh, means 
cost plus 10%, 100 by 110. In case of closing stock, in this way you can value the closing stock and that figure will, if you calculate it by calculator, you are coming 2,11,900. Understand, see, uh, just try to understand carefully. Uh, this is the important part uh, regarding the sum where the value of the stock has been valued at cost plus 10 percent included in the stock on 1114 opening stock valued of 1114 has been included so we deduct the overvaluation of 10 cost plus 10 percent so 10 by 110 but in case of closing stock the value has also been included so there has been an overvaluation so the normal figure whatever it is coming so the value is given and it will be charged again 10 percent shorter so 10 100 100 by 110 in case of closing stock so the balancing figure will be the gross profit the balancing figure will be the gross profit right if you calculate that it is coming 8 lakh 31500 8 lakh 31500 right if you deduct this 8 lakh 31500 with 1 lakh 80 and 4 lakh 96600 the gross profit is coming 1 lakh 54900 one lakh fifty four thousand nine hundred. So, in case of rate of GP, therefore, rate of gross profit will be GP by sales into hundred. You know that the formula. GP you have calculated one lakh fifty four thousand nine hundred. The sales. You know that six lakh nineteen thousand nine hundred, six lakh nineteen thousand six hundred. Sorry, into hundred. So, if you compute, it is coming twenty five percent. Means when we calculate the memorandum trading account, the rate of GP will be twenty five percent. So now we have to calculate the memorandum trading account. Memorandum trading account. For the period one one fifteen to twenty three fifteen. Okay, so that will be the memorandum trading account for the period. So again, uh, we have to calculate a format of trading account the same way. Uh, the format of trading account by same way so in that case uh, so whatever we will do now we will concentrate on doing it on the basis of the trading account because the trading account balance has been given that the closing balance will be the opening balance right so to opening stock it will be two lakh eleven thousand nine hundred right purchases for the period has been given two purchases during the period from one one fifteen to twenty three fifteen has been given seventy five thousand six hundred sales has been given one lakh eighty two thousand sales has been given one lakh Eighty-two thousand. and GP. You will calculate the GP on the basis of sale. You know that the GP rate has been already been computed, which is twenty-five percent. So you can calculate the GP to GP twenty-five percent on rupees one lakh eighty-two thousand. So. 45,500 so if you make the total it is coming 3,33,000 
and the balancing figure if you deduct 333000 with 182000 it is coming 151000 that is the closing stock on the date of file 151000 so now what we gonna do we gonna we gonna make a statement showing the value of stock destroyed or lost due to fire or due to the accident statement showing statement showing value of stock destroyed value of stock destroyed by file okay one particular scholar one amount column okay you know the value of stock on the date of fire which has been given 151000 value of stock which is the closing stock this one this one value of stock on the date of fire which is 151000 is there any salvage value given in the sum there is no salvage value mentioned in the sum although there it has been said that some part has been salvaged but what is the actual part it has not been mentioned so in that case less salvage value will be nil will be nil so 1,51,000 is the actual value of stock destroyed or the gross claim which may be considered as the net claim as there is no average clause okay as no information has been given regarding average clause so actual stock destroyed by fire can be considered as the gross claim and also it can be considered as the net claim so on that basis you should know what is the actual stock destroyed by the fire and that on that basis uh, that will be considered as the net claim i hope uh, if you practice this sum you will understand it uh, there will be no problem of understanding this sum i uh, will be giving one homework uh, regarding 2014 one uh, question uh, try to solve it on your own uh, we will meet in the next class. Thank you for patient hearing. Have a nice day ahead.